You can't deny that the ghosts of Gorilla Attack have had a massive effect on the game. It brought us a ton of new players and helped the game grow. Today we're going to be talking about some of the most popular Gorilla Attack creepypastas, some things I have missed in my previous ghost videos and more. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the new creepypasta collection merch in my Etsy shop. Now grab your headphones and popcorn and let's jump right in. PBBV is the ghost that started it all. There are two versions of this ghost, the actual creepypasta and the siren ARG. We're gonna start off with the creepypasta. The very first encounter was in August 2021. The Reddit user VRPlayer100 posted this to Reddit saying, I was playing in casual lobbies, trying out routes. I joined a lobby and it was me and one other monkey. It was salmon colored monkey with the name PBBV. <laughs> He was crawling back and forth across the bridge and he was chanting in kind of a deep, raspy voice with a voice of like the grudge sound, you know? I ran up to him and asked him what he was doing. He looked at me and suddenly my screen went to the one where you get on Gorilla Attack and you see the monkey face, but it had red eyes. Then I was banned for the day. I haven't seen him since. People really like the idea of a Gorilla Tech creepypasta, and that's when more and more videos were being posted online, such as this video claiming they found a pathfinding bot. Let's just let, let this be known, this is the first vid footage of um, pathfinding Gorilla Tech. Let it be known. After this video, people came to the conclusion that PBBV stands for Player Bot Beta Version, meaning it's a bot that catches people breaking the rules and bans them from the game. Lots of people claim their game starts lagging, their leaderboard is glitching, they turn invisible, and they saw a salmon colored monkey running around. Those who get closer to him say that their game crashed and they saw the Gorilla Attack loading screen. But it's not the regular one we were used to seeing. This one displays PBBV with red eyes staring you down and when you get back on the game you'll notice that you've been banned. In this video you see the whole leaderboard is empty except for PBBV. Eventually people found a video by the YouTuber Shift Banjo titled Radio Connect PBBV. In this video the person is pressing the button on the siren and in this video by fingertips this noise sounds exactly Exactly like the one from the video from Chipped Banjo. What the he's here, guys. Guys, he's here. He's here. And same with this video, it's the same creepy noise in all three videos. And you would run. You hear that? By now, people thought Chipped Benjo made PBBV, but using Wayback Machine, you'll see that he changed the video title after it became popular, so his ARG has nothing to do with the creepypasta itself. And if you want to know more about the ARG in depth, I have an entire video about it on my channel. You can find PBBV in these room codes. Daisy09 was the second ghost in Gorilla Tag. Shortly after PBBV became a thing, people started seeing a different monkey haunting the lobbies. The major difference between Daisy and PBBV is that Daisy changes colors, but it's also seen as pink or dark blue. You instantly know Daisy is in your lobby when you start hearing this creepy song playing in the background. <laughs> Yeah, I can see why this one may be creepier than PBBV. Some of you may recognize the song, it's called Daisy Bell, and that's what the ghost is named after. The original song is actually written by Harry Dacre in 1894. Yay. But in 1961, the IBM 7094 became the first computer to sing. And guess which song they chose? Daisy Bell. The lyrics are, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer do. I'm half crazy all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle made for two. As you can see, the song is pretty sweet and innocent, but I can understand why people would be scared hearing that and seeing a monkey flying towards you. Just like PBBV, Daisy All 9 is a hostile ghost and will chase after you. Look, where's Daisy? Daisy. What is going on? 
Oof. Oof. I'm freaked up. I'm freaked up. I'm screwed. If you get caught, your headset will crash and you will be banned for a week. You can find Daisy in these room codes. Echo, Gorilla Tag's first neutral ghost. This cyan-colored monkey wears a blue sun hat and likes to walk around in every map. If you're scared of PBPV or Daisy 9 then Echo is here to help, since she was meant to stop PBPV from hacking players. Echo is actually the fastest ghost and has long arms. And similar to Daisy 9 Echo also plays a song. Like I said, she's a neutral ghost, so she won't attack you unless you're annoying her. Then she will point at you and you'll hear this song playing in the background. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit. Just like in this clip, you see a dark blue monkey annoying Echo and then being attacked. Oh, oh, run, 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 run. Look, look, look. What? When Echo looks at you, your game starts to lag and eventually you crash. The song lyrics are Run Rabbit Run, which many people think is a warning to run away and the rabbit being prey, meaning Echo is after you and you being the prey. The original song is called Run Rabbit Run and is sung by Flanagan and Allen. Run Rabbit Run Rabbit For Noel Gay's show, The Little Dog Laughed. Echo can be found in any ghost room codes, but most encounters are from these room codes. Name or Nemo is a very interesting and unique ghost, and it's also the first quote unquote real ghost in Gorilla Tag. Let me explain. When you join a Gorilla Tag lobby, your player model, which is basically your character, is loading into the game. Sometimes the game servers may be slow, or people internets may be delayed. So while you're loading into the game, they might see your character frozen in place. But instead of your cosmetics or name, it's just an empty gorilla called Name. And because the E looks a lot like O, people started calling it Nemo, making it even more unique. The color of the monkey is usually based on your color, so now that you know how the player model works, let's get into the creepypasta itself. In 2022, a bunch of hackers figured out how to play Gorilla Tag on a computer. Since the game doesn't detect a VR headset, it uses the player model instead, while it just loads forever. Some of those hackers were even able to clone themselves into three monkeys. These monkeys will just stand still and look at you. And then suddenly disappear somewhere else. If you manage to tag all three of them, your headset will crash and you get banned from the game. When you join a lobby with Nemo, you might see it taking over everybody on the leaderboard. I decided to try it myself. I joined the lobby and saw the leaderboard was glitched out and other players appeared as Nemo to me. After Lemming, the creator of Gorilla Tag, saw that people are cloning themselves, he had to make a patch and he wrote, made some changes that will hopefully help against the attack that causes dead flying gorillas. But only a few months later, a hacking group that goes by the name of L Hacks had allegedly attacked the Gorilla Tech servers with placeholders using a rig spammer. These were visible to everyone for a few hours until Lemming had to fix it. Nemo, the placeholder, can be found in every lobby since, well, it's your character. But if you want to look for the hackers who clone themselves, then these are the room codes. Not to be heard, I'm not PBTV, I'm J3VU. J3VU, also known as Jevu, is a neon green colored monkey. Unlike the other ghost, Jevu can be found in every map, and sometimes he plays the slowed version of Run Rabbit Run, the same song played by Echo. What the hell? What just happened? But he does also say, Not to be heard, I'm not PBTV. I'm I did some research and I tried to figure out what J3VU means, but I couldn't find anything about it on Google. There is, however, a popular hacking group on Gorilla Tag called J3VU, but as far as I know, they are not part of this creepypasta. Some of the J3VU encounters I've seen are pretty creepy. First of all, you can tell it's not a player pretending to be a ghost. You can see how perfectly he walks, almost like it's an actual AI. And second of all, his name changes to J3VU. J3VU has become hostile, followed by a bunch of numbers that nobody can figure out even to this day. Jevu is a warning ghost and it warns people by pointing at stuff. Just like in this clip, he 
he's pointing at someone in the city, someone standing in the window. That's right, if you look closely, you can see someone standing in the window. It looks like a person, which makes it very creepy. But I can't see because it's so far away. But why though? Why is there someone watching us? In this clip, you see Warning Bot, a different ghost warning everyone in the lobby that J3VU is coming to attack them. He's coming, J3VU is loading a Trojan. Oh, he's warning us! He's warning us for the real hacker! He just said J3 something is coming. J3 view can be found in these room codes. Banshee is a hostile ghost gorilla. She's based off an actual urban myth from outside of Gorilla Tag. Banshee is actually a popular supernatural being from Ireland. Few people have seen her in real life and have not survived. She's usually seen in a white dress and has long hair. You may hear her singing a peaceful song and knocking on your windows at night. If you look out your window, she's going to start screaming as a warning that someone in your family is going to pass away soon. Now, back to the ghost. It's very similar in game 2. The ghost is a white monkey that is often seen standing in the treehouse. Eventually, you will hear a loud high-pitched noise as a warning and it will keep getting louder until you leave the game. If you don't leave the game and you stay, Benshi will either crash your game or say your real name and IP address. Wait, what? Stop! Stop! No, no! And that's really scary. If you still don't leave the game and you keep looking at her, your game will freeze, then go black, and you'll be banned. Oh my god, guys, it's a real banshee! Guys, look, it's a real banshee! Sometimes banshee gets out of her treehouse and flies towards you. <laughs> you can find banshee in these room codes. Imagine you're playing Gorilla Tag, just having fun, and suddenly you hear a creepy song playing in the background. It's not the usual Run Rabbit Run or Daisy Daisy, this one is way more creepier. This is Tiptoe, a black colored monkey that likes to tiptoe around. He's usually seen in the forest map, and you may think he's slow because he tiptoes, but he's actually really fast. Just look at this video, or this video. Whoa, he's so fast! He's so fast! And I know you probably think the song is creepy, but the original song is just a romantic song called Tiptoe Through the Tulips. It was written by Al Dubbin in 1929 and is totally innocent. It was actually written for an old movie called The Gold Diggers of Broadway. It was later made popular by Nick Lucas in 1944. Tiptoe to the window. And then finally in 1968, Tiny Tim made the song a novelty hit where it would become the song that we all know and are scared of. The lyrics are tiptoe through the window, by the window, that is where I'll be, come tiptoe through the tulips with me. We still don't know who made tiptoe, but the first encounter that I could find was by Noko VR on TikTok, and he claims he met something in Gorilla Tag. It was playing tiptoe through the tulips. You can find this ghost in these room codes. The statue ghost, not to be confused with and this here, is a yellow color monkey that can be found in the mines. This ghost is different than the rest. It doesn't run as fast as Echo and it doesn't tiptoe like tiptoe but rather it teleports and only when you're not looking. You may see statue just standing still but when you look away and then look back at it you'll notice it's now closer to you. Do not stop looking at statue and try to walk backwards towards the computer to leave the game. If you leave the lobby you're safe. But if the ghost manages to catch you, your game will freeze and crash. This ghost is based off the weeping angels from Doctor Who. The statues move when you're not looking. Very creepy. Statue only targets one person at a time and the target can switch any moment. You can find statue in these room codes. If you're playing Gorilla Tag and you hear bee noises, chances are you found the bee ghost. This ghost is supposed to be, well, 
a bee. It attaches itself to a player and follows them around. Sometimes there's more than one and it becomes a swarm. I can understand why people would be scared of it. Oh, me, man. <laughs> there are three versions of this ghost. The white one, which is called bees. A light green one called gorilla with four random numbers. And the yellow one called swifter. This ghost is commonly found in the canyon or in the city, but they have been spotted in other maps too. I was hunting for bees last night and I joined this empty lobby with one other person in it. I went back to change lobbies and this happened. Well, how are you? What the hell is that? Swifter just randomly spawned and attacked me. This ghost is very annoying and they make public lobbies private to avoid getting banned. Some people even say that he's able to join full lobbies of 10 people, making it 11. Electronic, one of the community moderators, says that it's not an AI, but a player running a script. The people behind Beast are allegedly a small group of hackers known as L-Hacks. Same people that were allegedly responsible for the Nemo attack. They have a mod menu which lets you attached to other players. This is very bannable and I would not recommend trying it. Here's a clip of someone accidentally attaching themselves to the wrong player and then attaching themselves again. Bees is usually found in these room codes. And this here is one of the weirder ghosts out there. The name is literally just End Is Here. A lot of people thought the name is End Is Shire, but no, it's just End Is Here. But what is ending? This ghost is usually black and can be found T-posing in front of the mirror in the city. Nobody knows who created this creepypasta, but the first encounter is by Tumpy GT, and it went viral on TikTok. In the video, the user is seen chasing his friend until he notices a monkey standing in front of the mirror, staring at him in the reflection. People who have encountered and is here say he doesn't do anything unless you get close to him. He then grabs your IP address and bans you for three weeks. You're so fake. Fake, 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 fake. Tika! Oh my god. Some encounters show the monkey is actually named Statue, which is weird since Statue is a whole different ghost, leading me to believe that those videos are fake. If you look at Tumpy's TikTok profile, you'll see other videos with him and his two other friends, and one of those friends looks very similar to Andy's here. So was it all staged? Possibly, but the screaming in the video sounded very realistic. Hey, so I heard a lot about you recently, you know? Banning kids? That's what a disgrace. On a, ki a kids game, gorilla game, and you're banning kids. Who do you think you are, mate? What are you, an adult? You're bullying kids online. Keep, keep. keep what? No, no. And this here has been encountered in these room codes. And now that I think of it, I think I might know what his name means. I think he's trying to say that it's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed then why not subscribe and like. And perhaps I will make a part 2 someday. Again, do not forget to check out the Creepypasta collection merch that I have.